Our next guest breakout role on Scandal as Madam First President made Hollywood pay attention. Now she stars as Jessica Whitley on Fox's crime drama, Prodigal Son. Please welcome back Bellamy Young. Hey, Bellamy! Hello! Thank you for having me back. I'm so glad to see you. Work, I'm in New York. I have you. <laughs> I'm out here in New York. It's cold, cold, cold. It just snowed a little this morning. So I'm just uh, just got off work and, and I'm glad to be home and cuddly. Yes. During quarantine, you and your boyfriend, Pedro, have actually been creating music together. Are you guys planning on releasing an album soon? How amazing would that be? Ah, oh, that would be the best. And you know, we actually joked that if we come out of quarantine without an album, we are real big jerks to have like missed this whole opportunity <laughs> of being together and having the opportunity. But you know, then there's wine and like great movies and, there's and things happen. <laughs> so I hope that soon we will get some stuff together, get some material together. Cause I think a, like a long-term dream would be to have a show that we could kind of tour around. We both love to travel and we both love to make music. So if we could like do those things together, that it would, would be, be amazing. Speaking of Pedro Bellamy, uh, he is 18 years younger than you and you've embraced the title Cougar. So yes. what have you learned from each other? Ah, oh, that's such a nice question. Um, you know, I always make the joke that uh, Pedro, uh, Pedro is as old as I am, vegan, because we are so different in age. But it's funny, we're kind of very well matched in terms of, I am a little bit arrested in my development and he was very precocious. So we sort of meet in a sweet spot of um, mm. like sentiment and, and joy and wonder. Uh, but it's been a real learning experience this year. I've never... Um, you know, I'm an only child, and I've certainly, my cat would like to join us. I've certainly lived with oh, other people yeah. before, but I've never loved them this much. And I get it. It's Aww. kind of funny to be uh, so utterly myself in front of someone. I've learned a lot about self acceptance um, what a and cooking and partying and lots of things like that. There's just been a lot to learn in uh, this COVID yes. situation you on top of social justice life. and epidemiology. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think as women, we're taught to be really vulnerable about our age. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes. he's really kind to me y'all and I'm kind to him back. And I think at the end of the day, nobody's promised tomorrow. So if can we, we can see your cat too? Today, Why you love it on Pedro? Can we see the cat? Oh, yes! The cat's name? Sadie. <laughs> Hi, Sadie! Oh, adorable! So cute. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Sadie, and thank you for sharing that. That's beautiful, and I'm so happy for you. That is a... Um, now, on Instagram, you post different causes that you're also passionate about, and you encourage us to learn what's going on in government, and also, we loved you as Madam First President in the hit show Scandal. So, in the future, do you see yourself running for political office? Oh man, I, I I think that is a very high calling. If you're doing it right, you know, if you get into right. politics to serve, um, to change the world, to make things better, uh, not for you know megalomaniacal reasons, but it was very humbling and sobering to play Melly and that the Obama then Obama administration was very welcoming with us in, in D.C. So we got to really learn on the front lines about um, the truth of the matter, which is, it's just people like us, do you know? Like, mm -hmm. giving their lives over to making yeah. the world better and making our country better. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't make decisions very quickly, so that would probably be <laughs> bad for the country. Um, but I think, like, for example, the administration we have now, Joe Biden has been through so much in his life and uh, has learned a lot about empathy. And so I think mm. that alone makes him the right man for the right time, you know? Um, I think- I agree. Agreed. I think if I were gonna find myself in politics anywhere, it'd be like an ambassador. And not that they don't work hard, but it's more about, I'm allergic to confrontation. So it's more about consensus <laughs> and inclusion. And uh, yeah, I think that would be the, a better use of what I can offer the country. 
Well, we love you as an actor as well. And now on Fox's crime drama, Prodigal Son, you play Jessica Whitley, the ex-wife of a serial killer. Has this role made you more interested in learning about serial mm-hmm. killers? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I hope to stay, <laughs> I hope to stay very, very ignorant of all things serial killers. It scares <laughs> me to death. I'm a huge chicken. So scary. I love making them. Uh, like, We have so much fun on set because the scenes are so intense that you just have to kind of let off steam and be silly and goofy in between takes. But um, I did a, I got to do a movie called The Night Stalker with, actually with Lou Diamond Phillips, who's in the cast with me here on Prodigal Son. And doing that research, like... Put me under. I was I was scared all all the time. I'm sure. I'm a chicken too. I'm a chicken too. <laughs> well, I get it. We are about to check you out in a clip from Prodigal Son. I can't wait to see this. Well, there are two crimes. One is a prank, elaborate yet childish, and the other is a murder. This is a case of teen brain. Teen brain. You're kidding. He's kidding, isn't he? Not usually. Explain teen brain. It's the psychological state of adolescence. The frontal cortex of a typical teenager is underdeveloped. They can't weigh the consequences of their actions. I thought it was all the spiced rum I drank. Not here, of course. (laughs) (laughs) That is awesome. Bellamy, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Be sure to catch Prodigal Son when it airs on Tuesday nights on Fox.